Okay, quick progress report. As you can see, we've got both machines sitting out here on their sides. Slowly starting to get some of the parts moved over to this one here. Next is actually the wiring harness. We'll get it in place. I do have to do one repair for the uh, reverse safety switch. That wire needs to be repaired on the new harness. The clip is good on the other harness, so I'll probably just cut it and re-splice it. But um, looking at the underside of this, the belts are good on this machine. The uh, pulleys are all good on this machine. Pretty much everything is decent on this machine. The body's so-so, but it's okay. But there is one issue. That bolt right there is snapped off. But it's still holding it's still holding the brake into place. Um, it's snapped off in the caliper. So there's still a stud sticking out and it's holding it, which should be fine. Aluminum and steel, I'm definitely not going to try and take that out. Um, it's really it's a it's a poor design on pretty much all riding lawnmowers, the way they hold the brakes on. Uh, the brakes are not really the greatest setup. Um, really they should have shortened the axle somehow. And put like a inboard larger disc brake on these but they made them to uh, fail kind of sort of here's the uh, rear end on this one they are slightly different this one has a bit of a bigger um, gearbox so, so to speak this one here is smaller uh, this one here is obviously newer than the green one the green one is a, an older design but they are exactly the same all the holes are pretty much the same the green one the, oh no sorry yeah the green one has a few more holes than the red one for other for other accessories but everything when it comes to the mower deck and the pto clutch all bolted up fine this might have to get raised i don't know yet this is where it was on the green one so I'll take a look at it on here. It's just a stopper so the deck doesn't come up too high. I believe that's what it does at least. Um, as you can see, the idler pulley is in place as well for the PTO deck and the PTO mount is also in place up front. So everything is ready to go to, to actually put the engine in here. The engine will be going in today. Like I said, I just wanna get the wiring put into place, get all that stuff buttoned up underneath. I'm gonna get this one more quick wash before I uh, do put it back up on its wheels. There's one connection that's a nightmare to hook up. It's the clutch safety. It's back in behind the steering gear. You can just barely get to it. That's why I'm gonna leave the machine on its side until I get that one done um, and get everything else uh, moved to the back. It's kind of a difference between the two. The one used zip ties to hold all the wires on. This, uh, the green one actually used reusable clips, so you can see the quality in the green one's a little bit more than this one here, but the green one, the rear end went out, so it's not worth uh, my time to try and fix it, and with the body issues on it, it's not really worth it to put a second, uh, second hand rear end in it, primarily it would be this rear end right here, it's just not worth it. The red machine is in much better condition overall, I think it's going to be a much more desirable machine. And that's why I'm fixing it. As you can hear, people are cutting the grass, but I think it's too early still. Um, that's another video. Lastly, here is the 46 inch deck. It is pretty much ready to go back on. Everything is all painted up. Everything still spins, obviously. The bearings all sound decent on this. Uh, they're not grinding, grinding. They're, you can hear them. They should be uh, cleaned up a bit more, which probably will get done uh, before it does go back together permanently but it's kind of a cool design it uses both outer spindles for the belt and then it goes up to the pto clutch so instead of using just a center spindle which some of them use it's actually taking the weight on both outer spindles and it's using the uh, tensioner and the secondary belt to run the uh the middle the middle sorry the middle blade which on this one the middle blade is actually a smaller blade than the outer two so when this machine's all said and done, it's actually going to be running four belts, two on the deck, two on the drive, not a big deal. And like I said before, the drive belts on this are almost brand new, so none of them have to be replaced, which is good. Um, if you've done MTD belts, really it's easier to tip them on their sides like this to do them. They're not fun, especially these new design MTDs. 
they're definitely not fun. Luckily, these don't go through the steering column like they do on the John Deere's. And I think the Murray's as well. They can actually go around the steering column, which is good. But they're still not fun to do. So, I'll talk to them later. Please keep it redneck like always. And uh, please subscribe and comment.